I love to go to concerts. I love live music. And there's something that happens with every concert that, that's interesting, which is that you go to watch this big name, but before that, there is the opening act. So you know this. If you go to enough concerts, you know there's going to be an opening act. And normally someone that you haven't heard from before or someone who's just starting off. And, and so you, you go and you sit there and you're, you know, talking to your, and then all of a sudden the opening act begins. And often you're surprised. I mean, some of these folks are really amazing, really good. So you turn towards the people you're with and you say, who is this? Now, in the age of social media, it's great because here you are in the concert, you know, who is this? And you go Google them and you all of a sudden know all about this artist that you just discovered. Isn't it interesting? In the middle of this amazing experience that you're having together, this experience of community, this experience of excitement, you encounter something new. You think that you know why you're there. You're there to, to go watch this great act that you love but then you're surprised with something that you did not expect. A new artist, a new face, a new sound, something different. This is Palm Sunday weekend. And we have a story that we hear year after year. Jesus entering Jerusalem on a donkey, folks celebrating his coming. They're throwing their cloaks, they're throwing palms on the ground, receiving Jesus with amazing fanfare, shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna means save us. Save us, save us. A community who struggled, a community who was worn out from the pressures of being under, the, under Rome's thumb, a community overtaxed and overworked, a community exhausted from all these years of oppression, a community desperate for what the future will look like, a community that, that seemed a bit hopeless in the midst of their everyday life, and they received Jesus in this way. Hosanna, save us, save us. Uh, we're desperate here. We, we're expecting here. Uh, we've been waiting for you. Do something. We know what that feels like. We, too, have had moments in our lives where or things are, don't seem to be going well. We, we too have found ourselves diseased and tired and exhausted and depressed. We, we found ourselves a bit hopeless, wondering where things are gonna go. We too have watched the news like we've watched them in the last, this past week, another tragedy in another school. And we will wonder, what is happening? Save us. We, we might be shouting Hosanna right now. Save us, Lord. Save us. We, we need an intervention. We, we need good news. Uh, we need new life. Do something. But then something interesting happened. In the midst of this celebration and this excitement, towards the end of the text today, there's a question. The people, as they shout and as they celebrate and as they wave palms, they begin to look at one another, and they have gotten caught up in the excitement, right? And they say, who, who is this? Who is this? Because, because sometimes in the midst of our lives, when we're in the midst of these places of, of struggle and, and strife, we, we kind of get on the bandwagon, right, in, in, in wanting something different. We, we get on the bandwagon in, in, a, in a Facebook post. We get on the bandwagon in anger and despair. We get on the bandwagon in, in celebration and, 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 and possible joy. And, but, then, but then in the midst of that, it's almost like an emotional response. And, and, and we get on it, but we're not quite sure what, what, are, we, what are we wanting. What salvation are we seeking? Who, who is this? What, who, who is this that we're clamoring for? Who is this Jesus that we proclaim each week? Who, who is this Jesus that we might talk about? What, what is this good news that we seem to repeat over and over again? What is it? And so some in the crowd responds, this is the prophet Jesus. This is the one that we've been waiting for. This is the one that can see our circumstances. That's what a prophet is. It's one who, who sees 
their current situation and knows that it doesn't align with God's intention, God's intentions for wholeness and healing and new life. Uh, this is the prophet Jesus. This is, this is the one that, that we've been clamoring for. This is one who actually can save us if we're willing to go on the journey. This is the one. And just like 2,000 years ago, still to this day, we call the church, we existing because we continue to remind one another who this is. Who is this Jesus? This Jesus is not one who hates. This Jesus is not one who marginalizes. This Jesus is not one who, who judges and shames. This Jesus is not one who pushes people away. This Jesus is not one who, who, who says okay to violence. This Jesus is one who, who demands our whole lives to be given over to love and to compassion and to justice and to peace and to new life. Uh, this, this, this Jesus is the one who showed us what good news like, looks like, what healing looked like, what new life looked like. This is who this is. And it was who this was 2,000 years ago, and it is who this is today. The question is, are we paying attention in the midst of our despair and our anger or in the midst of our celebration and excitement? Wherever we are, are we just going to get on the bandwagon or are we going to be attentive to the movement of the Spirit who is once again on another Palm Sunday weekend introducing us to the one who can indeed save us, heal us, transform us, give us new life. The one who can indeed uh, help us reconnect with our true selves and in our belonging to the community around us, uh, the one who calls us to be interdependent of one another and care for neighbor as we care for ourselves, the one who understands our despair and our struggles and our strife and our hopelessness and says, oh, but I'm making all things new, the one who invites us to be participants in it beyond the fanfare and the bandwagon, real kinship, real solidarity, real life. So people of God, on this Palm Sunday, it's wonderful to wave palms. It's wonderful to get excited. It's wonderful to celebrate. It's wonderful to, to be part of, of all of that that happens on this day and get, get all caught up in it. But pay attention. The prophet Jesus is still showing up today. Love in the flesh. This is who this is. 2,000 years ago and today, salvation is indeed here. Thanks be to God. Amen.